it's really bad. <coughs> what the heck? What the? Ugh. They shove random crap into this drain. <laughs> oh boy. This is a... Alright, if there are any plumbers out there, you have my respect. Because you have to deal with such random shit in this stuff. Literal shit, too. <laughs> In stores, it flies off the shelf so fast, similar to the Bobby Ad one. That was also like a gem. But I felt like since a couple of months, I haven't really found a, the St. Ambroise one in stock until recently. For me, I remember seeing it in the blue label. Now it's a little bit more teal. But the cool thing is that it's still a fiery hop. They haven't gotten rid of that. Still makes me think of fireballs from Super Mario Brothers. Like, Forget fireballs, fiery hops is what you need to do to beat Bowser and stomp on Goombas. 6.2%, so not too, too strong, but not too uh, light either. But the weird thing I noticed is that they call it an Idaho gem. Like really, I never would have thought it came from Idaho of all places. And this was like one of my only ones. It's empty right now, but I want to have it again. I want to keep this to myself, kind of like having my own private Idaho. I definitely need to have that. What the? Oh. My statue is acting up again. Let's see what it's trying to tell me.
boy. Okay, so I don't know if the protection was supposed to be because whoever gave me this beer, which I'm grateful for, was saying that I'm going to gonk myself on the head because I'm going to drop it on it, or if the head protection was because somebody actually built a trap door onto my deck. Beats me. Wish I had an answer for that. But thank you for the beer, but fuck you for whoever wrecked my deck. Yeah, this is a really nice one, too. Yeah, nice fruity, hoppy, just the perfect combination. And I'm happy that this thing is in stock yet again, because I don't know how much longer until it's going to be out of stock. Pretty satisfying, so I'm pretty happy. And I'm thinking right now, I'm not going to need the hard hat anymore. I've already had my protection, unless someone decides they want to put yet another s switch or whatever. I'm not even going to take my chances. If I see another one of those, I'm leaving it as is. Nice warmth. Yeah, for the first day of May, it's bloody cold today. It's like, I don't know, I don't get it. We've had so much warmth, so much rain, April showers, and now the cold uh, old man winter wants to come bite us in the ass again. Whatever, I'm not going to debate that anymore. But I'm not going to stop myself from grilling today. I felt like doing a little bit uh, of fire-related activities after working pretty hard. And no, it's not going to be like a recipe from start to scratch. I'm making burgers again. So, just in case you haven't seen it before, you can go to this video over here, putting a card to one of my very first vlogs, or just to give you a little dose of uh, another option, you can always click this one instead to show me redoing that recipe with higher production values. So it's up to you, everyone. You take your pick if you want to know how to do it. Bottom line, I'm going to be making these patties, setting it on fire, which automatically makes it even better. And speaking of fire, that brings me to my next brew that I want to try out. There's a brand new microbrew that's called Brasserie Dépareillé. Never heard of that one before. This one is from Yamachiche. Yamachiche. Hmm, weird. And they even have a postal code on here too. Never thought that. And it's a New England IPA, so I had to try it. 6.4%. But I had to pick it up just because of the name, because the material writes itself. It's called On Avanzu Notre Anne, Au Diable. So, if I'm getting this thing correctly, somebody decided they're selling their donkey to the devil? Like, really? Out of all the sacrifice you can make to the devil, that's the one best you can do, is selling your donkey? I mean, what kind of a jackass would you have to be if to sell your donkey? See what I did there, people? I'll admit, I bought it because I thought it was something about selling your soul for the devil. All this for a beer. But everyone knows that if you're gonna sell your soul for anything, it's gotta be for rock and roll, right? I mean, that's what Black Sabbath sang about, right? Right? I mean, come on, they're practically devil worshippers, too. Or I guess people will assume they're devil worshippers if you're listening at the time and we're super conservative. I mean, when you look at rock music, who are the biggest uh, evil personifications of this genre? You got Ozzy Osbourne, you got, I don't know, Led Zeppelin, Elvis Presley, apparently. Damn. The more I think about it, the more I feel like Something as innocent as a hip shake is apparently seen as controversial. Or you see a horror film, you think, how can people want to watch a scary movie? And then they think, you know what? Let's make scary music. Which is exactly how Black Sabbath decided to start. Just base themselves on horror movies. And then, in the process, somehow inventing heavy metal. And then he became a godfather without knowing it. I guess it's a case if you had to have been there to understand it back at the time. Well, let's give this thing a shot. Ooh. Tasty. And it doesn't even taste like a strong brew. Of course, the other one was 6.2% and this is 64 So most palates, most tongues, are not even going to notice the 0.2% difference in there. But hey, if you can, power to you and to your tongue.
this here is just what I needed after a busy Saturday afternoon. A lot of construction, a lot of uh, plumbing, a lot of the uh, dirtiest shit stuff. <laughs> this makes it all worthwhile. Hmm. And just to make sure I didn't have uh, just meat, I decided to grill some vegetables on here again. Technically they were already grilled last week, I just decided to grill them yet again. It's like, if you can refry fried chicken or you can refry a Mars bar, you can refry mushrooms and eggplant. Mm. Not bad. Yeah, simple, just what I need for this Saturday. So, this has been another edition of the Warner UT Cheese Cafe. A quickie edition compared to my other ones. So, thank you for watching again. If you like what you see, just hit that subscribe button below for future updates. Give this uh, video a thumbs up because that will promote it down the road and show people like, Hey, I'm not doing this for nothing, am I? I mean, if I can get some money out of it, then great. If not, eh. Some people will be amused, but all this is say, keep on smiling, everyone, and always look on the bright side of life.